Nicole here and welcome back to my channel. So today I am finally going to be doing my in-depth wash and silk press routine. I'm always getting questions about my hair, what products do I use, how often do I wash and style my hair, like anything about my hair, I'm always getting questions about it. So I decided to go ahead and make an in-depth video about what I do, the products that I use. So I pretty much do this routine every two to three weeks. Honestly, I can stretch my hair out to a month. It just depends on how my hair looks, how it feels. Um, I'm very big on just kind of doing whatever my hair wants to do. I don't really have a set like hair care routine. This is the only thing that I do like that's consistent for my hair. I'm very low maintenance when it comes to my hair. So you guys will probably see that when you see the products that I use. So yeah, in this video, I'm not going to necessarily explain how I grew my hair. I'm just kind of going to show you guys like the products that I use and how I got it to look silky smooth. I've been doing my own hair for such a long time now. And yeah, so if you want like an in-depth video on how I grow my hair, I can definitely make a video about that. It's probably not going to be that long to be honest, but yeah, this video today is just going to focus more so on how I got my hair to be silky smooth in the routine that I do pretty much every two to three weeks. All the products and hair tools that I use will be listed down below with the link. So if I can find it, I will definitely link it down below. So make sure you guys check out the description box. And yeah, that's definitely enough blabbering. Without further ado, let's get straight into my hair care wash day silk press routine all right so we are starting with dry crusty flaky hair as you guys can see this is about my hair at i would say a little after the two week mark my hair was super dry in desperate need to be washed um so my hair doesn't look super bad i could have stretched it another week but my scalp was super itchy so we're gonna go ahead and start with the washing process for about five minutes when I first get in, I like to just let the water run through my hair just so we can get everything activated and started. So I don't use the same shampoo and conditioner every time, but the one I chose to use this time was the Dove Daily Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner for dry hair. I really like this one. I tried it last time when I washed my hair and I loved it. It has a great smell. And the shampoo didn't leave my hair feeling super stripped or dry. That's why I like the Daily Moisture Shampoo. I tend to wash my hair about two to three times, especially if I know I'm gonna straighten my hair after this, just to get all the product out. Washing my hair at least two to three times helps to get everything out and it makes my silk press a little bit more flowy and smooth. Plus I know I won't be washing my hair for another two to three weeks after this. So I just wanna make sure my scalp is squeaky clean. Everything is fresh so that way it can last as long as possible. And as you notice, when I shampoo my hair, I only do the roots and then when I rinse it out, I let the shampoo run through the rest of my hair. That just kinda helps prevent dryness. And using the Dove Daily Moisture Conditioner, I decided to use it as like a detangler. So now I'm just gonna run the conditioner through my hair and finger detangle. I was not gonna leave this conditioner in long. I just wanted to use it to help with the detangling process. Sometimes I will leave this conditioner in. It all depends on if I feel like my hair needs a more potent hair mask. So today I kind of feel like I needed to do like a deep conditioning mask. So that's why I didn't leave this conditioner on for long. But last time I washed my hair, I let this one sit in. So yeah, it just kind of depends for me. After detangling and rinsing out the Dove conditioner, I went in with this coconut oil deep conditioning protein pack. This is my first time trying this one. I really enjoyed this hair mask. It was super thick. I was not expecting it to be that thick. I loved it. It glided through my hair super easily and I love the way that it made my hair feel after I rinsed it out. So I am going to leave this hair mask in for 10 minutes. The package said for about 10 to 20 minutes. I left it in for 10 minutes and then when I rinsed it out, I rinsed my hair with cool water because it's gonna help your hair to be less frizzy. All right, so this is my hair fresh out of the shower, well, a little bit after the shower. I let my hair t-shirt dry with a big giant t-shirt. So here is my hair. It's looking nice and shiny and refreshed. It's smelling good and I am just obsessed. So the first thing that I do is separate my hair into four sections. Um, this is gonna help the blow drying process go by quickly for me. Your 
Since I use a deep conditioner today, I will not be using this, but this is the Whole Blends Coconut Butter um, Leave-In Conditioner. I won't be using it because I don't feel like I need it this time, but I am gonna go in with my Tresemme Heat Protectant Spray. You need that heat protectant spray, okay? So I'm gonna actually spray this into all four sections, and then I'm going to detangle my hair with a wide tooth comb starting from the ends and working my way up and then after i detangle my hair i am going to kind of put it in a twist and put it away and i'm going to repeat all of these same steps through all four sections of my hair i do want to mention that i consider myself a straight hair natural which means i don't really wear my hair in its natural state often i'll do it like every once in a while so i guess you can say like my hair is kind of heat trained because I usually do this routine every two to three weeks, mostly every three weeks. I try to stretch it out as long as possible. With being a straight hair natural, I do feel like that contributes to my hair being easier during the detangling process and the straightening process because my hair is used to kind of being in this type of style. Being a straight hair natural has personally been helpful for me because when I wear my hair in its natural state, I do tend to run my fingers through it more. I'm constantly doing wash and goes and I always get like those single strand knots or fairy knots, whatever you want to call them. So it's really annoying. So I do feel like straightening my hair and having this routine has contrib contributed to my hair growth. Let me know down below if you are also a straight hair natural and if you're not, let me know if you're interested in becoming one. Let's have a discussion. I'm interested to see your guys' thoughts and opinions. Moving on to blow drying, I'm going to use this blow dryer that I got from Walmart. It's called the Knot Doctor. I absolutely love this tool. It makes blow drying a lot faster for me. So with my little twist, I'm going to take one of the sections from the twist and pin the other section up. And I'm just going to get to blow drying. Sometimes, honestly, I just blow dry the whole section in full. I don't even like divide it into two. I just blow dry the whole section if I feel lazy. But today, you know, I decided to switch it up a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to blow dry my hair. I really like this blow dryer and I like the fact that I don't have to use like a blow dryer in one hand and then a brush in the other hand so it just makes it a lot easier for me so yeah I will have this link down below if you are interested it does have high medium and low settings I am blow drying my hair on the highest setting it does have a cool button as well so yeah I'm going to do this for all four sections and then we are going to come back for the straightening process <laughs> And to finish off my blow drying process, I like to remove the brush head and I blow dry my hair on cool. This just kind of helps to cool down my hair before straightening and also kind of just seals in the cuticles in my hair and it also prevents like frizzing or anything. So I really like to do this before I go in with straightening. I feel like it just kind of like seals the deal. And then after this, I'm going to figure out how I want my hair parted. The last few times I parted my hair down the middle, but I'm trying to switch it up a little bit so my hair doesn't get used to being parted in the middle. So I'm gonna do like an off-centered middle part kind of thing.
Now we are finally moving on to the straightening process. So I'm going to divide my hair into small little sections. I will say when straightening your hair, less products is best. The more products you use, like the greasier and more weighed down your hair is going to be. So that's why you guys did not see me use a lot of products in this video. Um, to straighten my hair, I use the Chi Air Straightener. I've had this straightener for a long time. The only thing that I don't like about this is that it does kind of snag a little bit. So I would like to try out a new straightener, but I've been using Using this one for years and then I put my flat iron on 390 degrees and yeah that pretty much works for me I typically only do like one to two passes today I only did one pass throughout my hair of course I go through my roots like multiple times but yeah so I just do like one pass through and that is it so I'm gonna do this all over my hair it's gonna get pretty repetitive but I hope y'all enjoy the music and I will see y'all towards the end of the video All right, you guys, so we are coming up on the end of the video. So yeah, this is how I wash and silk press my hair. Of course, I wrap my hair every night to preserve the straightness until it gets dirty. But all the products and all the hair tools that I use will be listed below. Also, let me know if you guys want me to do an in-depth video on how I grew my hair out. I can definitely do that for you guys. But yeah, thank you guys so freaking much for watching. Make sure you let me know what you think down below. And of course, as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. How's your eye? I'm burning all of this. Yeah. We hit the planet, it's cut for the jealousy.